Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have three more items where I think Walmart did it better. Let's get right into it. First item is this, I'm gonna call it the Barefoot Dreams Lookalike uh, Cozy Cozy Cardigan. These things are so worth the $18.98 that they are. I cannot believe the price. Now I'm gonna list a couple of the differences. I have owned a Barefoot Dreams cardigan in the past and I'll actually link the old video that I talked about that up here. It's from a few years ago from a Nordstrom video. It was the circle cardigan and it was problematic for several reasons, but it did serve uh, a little bit of purpose for me. And I, I finally just gave up though and ended up reselling it on like a secondhand website. So I'm so excited to have this one in my life because this is the one that I really think that I should have bought in the first place. Um, I love the length on this. It's so good. And again, the price tag, $18.98 versus... <laughs> Okay, like $138, $147 for a lot of the current Barefoot Dreams uh, sweaters. And, I, you know, that's just a lot of money for a sweater. This one is 100% polyester. Now, the Barefoot Dreams are not. They are a nylon rayon with a little bit of polyester. However, they do recommend that you lay those flat to dry. And if you've ever laid a thick sweater to dry, you know it can be a big pain. So these, because they are polyester, are tumble dry. You know, you could buy pretty much one in every color and still come out spending less money than one barefoot dreams sweater so I love that it has the nice looser fit sleeves I wear these primarily to say uh, go to the gym maybe if I'm gonna go to a yoga class something like that and I just need something warm to throw over so that's why you're gonna see it pictured like with my leggings also love the burgundy shade because it goes with most of my other neutral items, black, gray, blue, camel, you name it. And so this is just a good shade for me, but it does have other color options in store and online. Um, overall, I mean, this is just a 10 out of 10. I love this thing. I also love using it as a robe and that's how I pack it for traveling. You know, you don't want to pack a big bulky robe or sometimes when you're just around the house working from home or just kind of need something cozy to get up, you know, sit on the couch with. These make the perfect kind of like robe substitutes. So overall, definitely worth the $20 price tag. The next item that I think Walmart does better are these uh, faux shearling slippers. Now I have to just make sure you know the inside of this is a faux shearling. It is a synthetic material. The outside, however, is genuine suede. It has a rubber sole and they also have memory foam in them. Now if these look a little familiar, it's because I have have talked about these at length over the years. They used to come uh, in a brand called Secret Treasures. But what I'm noticing lately is that Secret Treasures, I believe, has been phased out of Walmart and now they are going with the Joy Spun uh, branding. So you are going to find these in the Joy Spun collection now. They also have other options color wise. They have a really light camel color and then they have a more um, traditional, like that kind of really rich brown with the cream color faux shearling inside. So if you want a really traditional look, they do have them. I love these things. Uh, they are currently running at $16.98, which is, I think, cheaper than anywhere else I've been. I have seen more high-end ones, um, including, you know what I'm talking about, the very expensive over $100 ones, but then also even Costco carries their own. There's just so many brands that are kind of doing this style, but I think these are genuinely the most comfortable, and I believe this is the third year in a row I've bought them. And at that price point, I think it's well worth it because I don't know if you're like me, but by the end of winter, I don't want to look at my slippers anymore. I mean, I literally just take them off when it starts to get hot and I throw them away. They're just done. And that's because by the end of winter, we all do it. You know, you've taken them outside, you've gone to get the mail, maybe walk the dog, you know, go run errands in them when you're really lazy and they just start to get weird. And you know, you're just tired of it. And so I do enjoy the fact that at this price point, I can buy a new pair every year. I couldn't do that if I was gonna be purchasing the more high-end ones. And I do know that the more high-end ones can last a couple of years. I have owned Uggs in the past, but again, they still smash down 
and you know they still get just really worn looking so you know I'm not gonna go spend $150 or whatnot you know every single year I'd rather spend well under 20 and at these price points you can actually get more than one color as far as sizing goes I always get my larger size for example I'm kind of in between a nine and a half and a ten I always go for the ten however they are just a true slide on so there is a little bit of wiggle room there there's no lip on it um, back here that you're going to run into and bug your heel so I do love that about them and I am not lying when I say I genuinely think these are more comfortable than any of the other slippers I have found at so many different price points so these are always the first thing I buy when it starts to become fall the last item is this purse and if you've been watching my other videos or even following me on social media you know that I've talked a lot about this purse already. <laughs> I don't care, it is that good. Now, what I'm gonna say to this purse is that if you look just for style and functionality, this purse is almost exactly like a Louis Vuitton and Coach just came out with one as far as I can tell. I will put a little bit, uh, maybe some pictures or things right here so you can see what I mean. Now, of course, this is bright green, but I chose this color on purpose because I wear such a neutral color palette in my wardrobe that I just thought this would be really fun for my particular wardrobe. However, they do have a black. I believe that would be my second favorite of the color options because the black is just so neutral and I think it would be gorgeous with you know some really rich black boots or loafers that you could wear all winter long so I, I may pick it up I keep looking at it every time I go to the store and I keep thinking I don't need it but I think it would be a great staple to have because I am just using this purse literally every day I love it I love that I can hold it by the top handle I love that the crossbody is so adjustable that I can wear it close up to my body but I can also wear it loose I can also just kind of throw it over my shoulder like this I won't get too too much into the bag because like I said I've shown it so many times but it does have this back pocket that is perfection for even larger cell phones it has a nice um, little snap here so it's not easily openable like if you do have it shut no one can slip their hand in very easily and steal anything and it just has so many compartments that I'm just in love with this purse and again at such an affordable price point and with the color options that you can get I just really think Walmart did it right with this one and I just saved so much money if I was gonna buy this exact same stuff style even at like kind of middle to high ground with coach or of course extreme luxury style with Louis Vuitton that's just not in my budget so this one is a gem that does it for this Walmart did it better video let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these three items and what you're thinking about them and oh my gosh I already have a few more in the work so make sure you're subscribed hit like that really helps my channel out a lot and as per usual everything that is linkable is going to be in the description box below just click more and I also have everything in my LTK shop for extremely easy shopping so make sure you visit me over there all right thanks again and until next time I'll see you soon